In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Sub 250 Whoopfly 16 RTF Combo Kit. This kit comes with a Whoopfly 16, a set of FPV goggles, an ELRS controller, two batteries, a charger, spare props, everything you need to fly FPV. All right, so everything comes in this carrying case. We got the goggles, controller, and drone, batteries, accessories, all that good stuff right in here. So let's open this up, see how it comes. So right over here, we have our goggles, and this has our head strap. This is probably just a bag with like a charging cable. Looks like our antennas are in there as well. Cool. Got our controller right here. Little gimbal stick protectors. Here's the ELRS controller. And of course, the drone. Up top, we have a pocket, and this is probably just, you got the batteries in there, probably user manual. Let's see. We have a set of 530 milliamp 1S LiPos. These have the GNB27 connector on it. That's cool. They give you a little charger. I actually don't have a charger for this. I have a little adapter cable that came with one of my other drones, but it looks like they include an actual charger for these batteries. So nice. And then the rest of this looks like you get an antenna. This antenna is for the controller. And then the other two antennas that came in the goggles in this bag, these ones are for the goggles. They look similar, but they're different. It's like we got a user manual for the controller, user manual for the goggles some extra pieces of foam, adhesive, spare props, stickers, looks like a wiring diagram for the flight controller that's on there, and just a little setup manual for the drone. All right, so let's take a look at this drone and we'll quickly go over the specs on this. We'll take a look at the goggles, the controller. I'll show you guys how to get everything set up and then we're gonna take this thing out for a test flight. The drone that comes in this kit is the Whoopfly 16. This is a pretty small whoop that's in the pusher configuration. Um, that means that the motors are upside down. All of my Cinewhoops are in this configuration since it actually makes the drone a little more efficient. The drone looks very well protected with this single piece of plastic just kind of covering the internal components, the camera, and it even is part of the duct surrounding the motors and then around the ducts they also have this piece of foam that's kind of just protecting the ducts. Looking at the bottom of the drone we have a little tiny cage right here and this is meant for the battery. We have the battery connector coming out the back right here and the connector on this is the GNB27 connector. They include uh, two of these 530 milliamp 1S LiPos. You could probably honestly fit a slightly bigger 1S LiPo in here. Just make sure that if you do choose to use a different um, one cell lipo, make sure that it has the GNB27 connector. So since this entire kit comes with a set of analog goggles, we've got an analog VTX and camera on board on this drone. The camera that's in the front here is the Caddx Ant, and the VTX is a built-in 200 milliwatt VTX that's actually part of the flight controller. So we should be able to get some decent range out of this thing. The flight controller inside is Sub 250's Red Fox A1 F4 5 amp four-in-one 1S flight controller, and that has a 2.4 gigahertz ELRS SPI receiver built in, as well as the video transmitter. The motors that Sub 250 has included on this drone are their 21,000 kV 1002 motors, and for props we have Tri-Blade Gemfan 1608 props. These motors are actually the exact same motors that they put on their other uh, freestyle drone here. I have a review on this. I can't think of the name of this thing right now, uh, but I have a whole review on this. This thing is pretty fun, and I actually do fly it quite a bit outside, but I'm curious to see how this one performs compared to this one. So yeah, that is the Whoopfly 16, and again, this is the analog version. They do have this drone as a standalone drone with an HD0 and walk snail VTX on it, um, but since they include analog goggles with this, obviously we're gonna get the analog version. So that's the drone. Let's take a look at the controller. This is Sub 250's micro radio ELRS 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. This has an internal 2.4 gigahertz ELRS module, so you can bind this to additional ELRS quads if you wanted to. The controller is powered by two 18650 batteries that actually go down here. These aren't included in the kit, so just make sure you pick up some of these. You can get them on Amazon for like, I don't know, pretty cheap. I have two batteries right here, so we'll install these and I'll show you how to get it all set up and everything. This is a diagram where positive goes, where negative goes, like that, and like that. There 
you go. So two 18650 batteries. Make sure you have your antenna. They include one antenna with the controller and then you get two other antennas for the goggles. They look very similar, but they're actually different. If you look at the little connector, you won't be able to plug the goggle antennas into this. So make sure you put this on before you turn it on. Otherwise you'll probably get really bad range and you might burn something out. So just make sure you put that antenna on before you turn this on and you know get it bound to your drone. Now when it comes to charging the controller, luckily you can just plug it into the USB-C port right up top and that's gonna charge the two 18650 batteries that we just installed. Since we're looking at the top of the controller, we also have our trainer port. The antenna mount is right here. This is the power button. We've got our auxiliary switches. This first one right here is the only two position switch that you have. The rest of these are three position switches. So you have aux two, aux three, and aux four. On the back, we've got a setup button and a bind button. So I'll show you guys how to bind this with the drone in a second. Now let's take a look at the goggles. All right, so the goggles that they include in the kit are Sub 250's Goggles 1. Now these are pretty standard box goggles. These are analog, so these will work with any analog drone you get in the future. And that's actually the nice thing about kits like this. A lot of times you can use the equipment with additional drones that you get. So this controller you can use with pretty much any ELRS drone you get. And then this will work with any analog drone. So if you decide to upgrade from the Whoopfly 16 to something else, you can probably use this stuff with it. Um, looking at the goggles, we've got the two antenna bases up top here. They give you these two antennas. We've got a bunch of buttons. We've got a band and channel button. So those will be what you use to find your uh, channel that your drone's on. If you don't want to do it manually, you do have a search button over here. So you can just click that and it should search through the channels and be able to find the channel that your drone's on. We've got a power button. You got a speaker right here. We have a headphone port, USB port right here. And that's what you're going to use to charge the goggles. These goggles have a built-in battery. Right next to that, we have a micro SD card slot. Now I already put one of my um, micro SD cards in here, but this is what you'll use for uh, DVR footage. You don't need this, but if you do want one, you're gonna have to buy it separately because they don't include one in the kit. And then right here is the record button. So when you wanna film your footage, you just click that and it'll start recording. All right, so let's get this drone all bound up to our goggles and our controller. Let's start with the goggles because this is nice and easy. I'm gonna put a battery on the bottom here, plug it in. And that's all you have to do. Now on our goggles, we're going to move that so you guys can see what the hell I'm doing. I'm gonna click and hold the power button. That comes on. Now, as you can see, we don't have the correct channel, but if we hit the search button, it's gonna scan the channels. And then eventually, it's gonna get the channel that your drone's on. So now, as you can see, we've got the correct video channel. So that's all you have to do as far as getting the channel set on your goggles. Now you could manually do this, so you could click these back and forth. I think it's just a lot easier to hit search and just kind of let it do its thing and then it's gonna find the best channel that you get the best reception on. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all you have to do as far as goggles go. So we can turn these off. And now let's get this bound up to our controller. All right, so now to bind the controller with the drone, the easiest way to do this is to power cycle the drone three times, leave it on, and then we're gonna put the controller in bind mode and hopefully the two will communicate and bind and then we'll be good. So to put this into bind mode, since it has an SPI receiver, we're gonna take the uh, battery, plug it in, let it power cycle three times, and now leave it plugged in. That's a tight connector. And now when we turn our controller on, we're gonna make sure that we hold the bind button right here. And we're gonna hold the power button and you're gonna see this flash uh, three lights like that. Let it just sit, do its thing. And now you have solid red light. And now we'll just power cycle both of these. So we'll turn the controller off. Unplug the drone. And now we can plug the drone back in. Now turn on the controller. Now you don't have to click the bind button or anything because it's all bound up. So the way that they have this controller set up is you want all of these switches in the uppermost position. So these three are three position switches. This one is the two position switch and this is for arm. So when we flip this down, 
the drone is gonna arm and then we can fly it. Um, this switch right here, right now it's in acro. When it's in the middle, it's in angle and then that's in horizon mode. So if you're just starting out, I would probably put it in angle mode right like that. I'm gonna keep it in acro for this. This one right here is for the beeper and then this is for crash flip. So with both of these on, when you flick this down, the drone will arm and now we can fly. guys this thing is a lot quicker than i thought it would be the tune on it is solid and i really like the controller and the goggles that they're including in this kit um, the batteries were lasting me about three to four minutes and i got a handful of crashes in and the thing is durable it survived i was able to turtle mode over and fly away from every single crash and it just flies awesome most of the flying that i did was outdoors i did a little bit indoors and i really do think that this drone is perfect for some outdoor freestyle the little charger that they include right here is awesome and you can charge two batteries at once and not only can you charge these gnb 27 connector batteries you can there's two ports for these so you can plug one in there and you you can plug the other one in right like that and it'll tell you the voltage for both of these batteries and it charges them via USB-C and uh, you can charge two batteries at once. Another nice thing is that it doesn't only charge the GNB27 plug but if you have some PH2.0 like I have these GNB520 PH2.0 you can plug those in right underneath. You can't do them at the same time um, but it does charge PH2.0 so it's a nice little feature. The only complaint with this drone is the USB access on the bottom. With the cable that they include, it has this kind of piece of plastic around the end. And when you try and plug it in, there's a little screw here. Hopefully you guys can see this, but there's a screw right here. And then when you go to plug this in, it's just, you can't. I don't want to force it because if I force it, it's going to bend the USB and I don't really want to break it. So I ended up using this USB cable right here, and this is one that I just kind of cut up so that it's nice and thin. So this one fits in there very easily, plugs right in, and then I can plug it into Betaflight, do any tuning. You really shouldn't have to plug it into Betaflight because this is a ready to fly drone and everything is all set up, switches are all set up, and uh, it's pretty much good to go. But if you did have to plug it into Betaflight, just be aware of that. Overall though, I really do love kits like this that just include everything you need to get out and fly. You get the drone, you get the goggles, you get the controller, batteries, a charger, some cables, spare props, and you even get a nice carrying case. And the best thing is that you can continue to use this controller and the goggles with future FPV drones that you get. So if you're just getting into FPV, this is definitely a kit that I would consider. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave the video a like, and if you have any questions about this new Whoopfly 16 kit from Sub250, leave a comment down below.